everyone, this is Janeline Panganiban, Helene Abo, Jessa Gonyo, and Anna Anelia, and you are watching TVN, the Volleyball News. Rules of Volleyball. Only six players on the floor at any given time. Three in the front row and three in the back row. There is a maximum of three hits per side. Points are made on every serve for the winning team of rally. Players may not hit the ball twice in succession. Ball may be played off the net during a run and on serve. A ball hitting a boundary line is in. A ball is out if it hits an antenna. The floor completely outside the court. Any of the net of cables outside the antenna. The referee stand or pole or the ceiling above a non-playable area. It is illegal to catch, hold, or throw the ball. A player cannot block or attack a serve from out or inside the 10-foot line. After the serve, frontline players may switch positions at the net. Matches are made up of sets. The number depends on level of play. Three sets of matches are two sets to 25 points, and third set to 15. Every set must be won by two points. Five sets the matches are four sets to 25 points, and fifth set to 15. The team must win by two points unless tournament rules dictate otherwise. History of volleyball. The sport of volleyball originated in the United States and is now just beginning to achieve the type of popularity in the U.S. that it has received on a global basis where it ranks behind only soccer among participation sports. So this game was fit for the gymnasium or exercises hall but could also be played outdoors. The play consisted of any number of players keeping a ball in motion from inches above the floor. Common injuries in volleyball. First, rotator calf tendinitis. Really completely torn in young players. Muscles can get irritated or fatigue with overseas. Second, finger injuries. Fractures, dislocations, tendon, and ligament tears in the finger as players try to hit a ball. Third, ankle sprains are the most prevalent injury among volleyball players. Fourth, patellar tendinitis. Inflammations of the tendon that links the kneecap to tibia is known as patellar tendinitis. The seven basic skills of volleyball are forearm passing of bumping by far one of the most basic skills in volleyball is passing, also known as bumping. Second is volleying. Many beginners think a volley and a set are the same thing, but they are actual two different terms. Third is setting. A set is a specialized type of volley. It's usually the second hit and it's intended to set up the, uh, one of your teammates to attack the ball. Fourth is attacking. While spiking the most glamorous and well-known type of attack, there are actually other ways to deliver an offensive play as well. Fifth is diving. It's basically crashing to the floor in all out attempts to keep the ballroom touching the floor. Sixth is blocking. Probably one of the most straightforward main skills. A block is a defensive play when a player jumps at the net to block the hits from coming onto their team's side of the net. Seventh is serving. Every play in the volleyball starts with a serve. As one of my coaches used to say, serving is the only time in the game that we start with full control of the ball. So here are the most famous volleyball players in the Philippines. Number one is Eliza Jaimo Valdez. She was the most outstanding as an indoor volleyball player where she brought multiple championship titles and a lot of honor for the university. She is a current member of Philippines national team. Second is Julia Melissa Gia Morado. She was a member of the Ateneo Lady Eagles and was team captain in the UAAP Season 79 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Number three is Abigail Abi Palmares Maratno. It's a Filipino professional volleyball player who plays for F2 Logistic Cargo Movers in the Philippine Super League. Number four is Rachel Ann Dacis. She is currently playing in the Philippines. Superliga or PSL with the Signal HD Spikers and is the PSL Brand Ambassador for 2018 to 2019. And the last one is Aurea Francesca Sesca Racarit. 
Um, she is a Filipino volleyball player of the collegiate varsity volleyball team of San Beda College that plays in the NCAA. Common equipment in volleyball. Net. Net is 1 meter long and 9.5 to 10 meter wide. The center of the net should lie 2.43 meter above the ground for men and 2.24 meter for women. Net pole. The standard volleyball net pole stands a distance of 2.25 meters or 8 feet and 4 inches from the ground. To prevent injury, poles must be ground and adequate padding and bolted or secured to the ground without the use of cables or ties. Volleyball court. It has a rectangular shape and has no measure. 18 meters long and 9 meters wide. It is, it is then divided half in length with each team having a square shape half in which to play. Ball. Volleyball is a spherical ball of 65.67 cm circumference. It is made of leather or any synthetic material and weighs 260 to 280 grams. Volleyball jersey. It is usually made of synthetic materials designed to keep the volleyball player cool and comfortable during hard competitive tournaments. Volleyball shoes are designed differently than other running and basketball shoes. These are the different volleyball leagues in the Philippines. First is the Premier Volleyball League. It's a women's professional volleyball league in the Philippines organized by Sports Vision Management Group Incorporated. The league began in 2004 as the Shakey's B League. Second is the Philippine Super League. This is a non-professional corporate club women's volleyball league in the Philippines. It was first organized by, by Sports Core Event Management and Consultancy Incorporated and is now owned by Philippine Superliga Incorporated. The, fourth one is, the third one is the Uni University Athletic Association of the Philippines or UAAP. Volleyball tournament is divided into four divisions, men's, women's, boys, and girls. Volleyball is a mandatory sport in the women's division. The UAAP Volleyball Tournament was held in the first semester of the school year until the UAAP Board decided to move it to the second semester in Season 69, school year 2006-2007. This decision was made so that the games can be televised to improve its popularity. The National College Athletic Association Volleyball Tournament occurs every second semester of the academic year. It is divided into three divisions, the junior division for high school male students and the senior division which is sub subdivided into men's senior division for male college students and the women's senior division for female college students. And the last one is Peach Volleyball Republic Incorporated or BVR. This is an organization aimed for the development and growth of beach volleyball in the Philippines formed in June 2015. There you go. Once again, this is Shalome Abo, Ana Amelia, Janeline Panganiban, and Jess Agonio. Thank you for watching TVN, the Valuable News.